So I need to start this video by giving a massive thank you to all of you guys, to everyone who watches my videos, who likes them, who comments, and especially to everyone that subscribed to the channel. This has been a milestone that I've been working to reach for so long, and I finally got here after so much hard work, and I just owe you guys so much for helping me and, you know, all of the support that you guys give me. It's overwhelming and really is what keeps me going and what's gotten me to this point. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is kind of sharing with you my journey getting to 50,000 subscribers. So the amount of work I had to put in, which is a ton, and you guys are going to see that throughout this video, as well as just some of the things I learned and maybe some mistakes I made so that you guys could learn from them as well. There's so much that I've changed and learned and kind of done differently as I've grown throughout this YouTube channel, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video. Now before I go too far, I have a really exciting announcement that I want to tell you guys about and that is that I'm officially releasing my first ever premium programming course. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be kind of concerned about this because you're thinking it's just a money grab or I'm not going to be posting more videos on YouTube, but that is definitely not the case and this does not affect that whatsoever. This course is something I've been working on just kind of in, in my spare time, having it like low priority and now it's finally done and ready to share with you guys and it is called the Fundamentals of Programming with Python. Now right now this course is 35% off. It's gonna be like that for the next week just to celebrate hitting 50,000 subscribers as well as my birthday on July 20th. Um, but after that there's gonna be no more discounts so definitely go enroll if you are interested in learning that. Now a quick kind of summary of what the course is. Essentially I've noticed that a lot of programmers and people that are trying to get into the space lack a fundamental knowledge of programming concepts and just some very basic like algorithms and syntax and things that apply to all different languages. So what I've done with this course is try to build it around giving a really good foundation to the beginner level programmer that will allow them to learn more uh, and work towards better goals in the future because a huge thing that's going to hold you back is a lack of fundamental skills and that's probably the number one issue I see with anyone that asks me for help, the people that I'm tutoring with students, with kids, is that they lack the fundamental knowledge and that's what this course is meant to teach you. Anyways, if you guys are interested in that, please go and roll down below. There's a link in the description and it's going to be 35% off for the next week. Now, with that being said, sorry for the long intro, but let's get into the video. All right, so in this part of the video, I want to talk to you guys about some specific strategies I've used to grow my YouTube channel, as well as just a lot of things that I've learned kind of throughout this journey. So a lot of you don't actually know, when I started this YouTube channel, it was about two and a half years ago, and it was something I did not take seriously whatsoever. I would kind of just randomly post videos whenever I felt like it. There was no structure to those videos. Maybe I'd start a playlist and I'd just end it halfway through and it was kind of just not great. I obviously was not following any of the best practices, and for me it was just something I kind of did when I was bored, and I never really saw any future in it, or any, I didn't have any intention to kind of continue it and grow it to what I'm at today. Now what kind of led me into starting to actually take it seriously was all of the positive feedback I got on some of my videos. So even though I kind of posted randomly, it was probably at a point where I had about 70 videos uploaded, kind of from some different niches like talking about cryptocurrency as well as programming and some hardware stuff as well and I started getting a lot of positive feedback from the few people that were watching my videos and that's what really drove me to continue creating YouTube videos was the fact that even though there was only a few some people out there that had seen my stuff really liked it and were telling me you know continue continue you're doing a good job and that's what really pushed me forward so when I tell you guys that I read every comment and that I really do appreciate the positive feedback, I mean that because without you guys, I would, wouldn't even have any of the videos that I have today. And that's really what made me want to continue. So anyways, as I started posting more videos, I kind of started getting into routines and started figuring out what I needed to do to make a better YouTube video or just to actually get one out there. Because for me, being a full-time student, time is something that I don't have a lot of. So what I started doing when I went to university was allocating my time around creating YouTube videos, something that I hadn't done before, which was kind of like I was just randomly posting whenever I felt like it or when I had spare time. I wasn't making time to create YouTube videos, which is what I started doing, which led me to see a significant growth in my channel. I'm going to talk specifically about that. So in school, I started realizing really quickly in university how much free time I had. And up until then, I had been spending my free time kind of watching YouTube videos or playing video games or just doing unproductive stuff. 
um, that I wasn't super happy with. So I started kind of analyzing my time and figuring out, you know, when am I wasting time and what could I be doing better with that time? And for me, my answer was, well, I have this YouTube channel. I haven't really been doing it as much as I should or as much as I could have. Let's put some more time into that. And the more and more time that I put into the YouTube channel, the more I wanted to continue doing it. It was something I actually really enjoyed doing, posting videos, chatting with you guys. And I started seeing more and more results the more that I cared about my videos and the more videos that I made. And as I did this, I kind of built a little bit of an upload schedule for myself to try and post a video every other day. That was my goal and that was something that I accomplished fairly easily in university. So then what I decided to do was push myself to do a video every day. And this is when I started seeing massive growth in my channel from viewers, engagement, subscribers, everything. Um, something that I learned really quickly is that YouTube rewards consistency and that if you consistently upload, a user is more likely to want to subscribe to your channel. So as I did that, I started seeing growth. Now with this growth, my confidence built in this YouTube channel. I started gaining some more traction, made, it, made a little bit more money, and I was just more and more motivated to keep working on it. So I started, again, just spending all that free time that I had before that I was just wasting essentially playing video games or watching YouTube videos to actually creating more content and to engaging with my audience. And this is what brings me into the next point, which was something that was really important that I did um, to continue to grow. And that was answering every single comment. Now, I'm kind of at the point today where it's very difficult to do that because I get so many comments on my videos. But back then, what I would do is I'd make an effort to every like hour or so read through my comments and answer as many of them as I could as long as they were reasonable and I actually had an answer to those comments and I started realizing when I was doing this people really appreciated that and some people were really surprised that I actually answered them and I kind of thought in my head you know if I do this not only does it look good on the channel when someone comes on and sees that I've answered people but those people that I'm responding to are getting a ton of value from what I'm telling them whether I'm answering a question or just saying thank you or whatever it is. And they remember that. And that was something really important that I started doing was actually engaging with my community, which I hadn't done at all in the past. And even though it's hard to kind of quantify how well that affects your channel, I think that that's something that's definitely helped me. And I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments down below about that as well. Now, another thing I started doing was focusing on the quality of my videos. And I started getting new equipment and just really kind of doubling down and reinvesting any and the little bits of money I've made into creating better videos. Because not only does that show the audience that, you know, I care about the quality of video, but it also just kind of brings the channel up and, and just keeps constantly improving. And today that's what I aim to do. Um, I recently bought these new lights that I don't know if you guys can tell are out right here. I have this new camera. I got a new microphone. I'm getting new computer parts. Just any bit of money that I do make from this channel, I'm constantly reinvesting because I want to create the best videos possible. And I think if that's something that you're not doing when you're creating a YouTube channel, then you're making a massive mistake. So anyways, that's kind of some of the more specific tips that I have for you know, building a YouTube channel or things that I've learned as I went on. But I'm going to talk about now the most important thing that I put into this channel, which is just a lot of hard work and dedication. Um, in university, I got up almost every morning at 5.30 a.m. to work on this channel and to make videos and to create we um, website articles to, you know, work with other people, to answer emails, whatever it is, um, I put the work in. And the more and more work I put in, not only did the better I feel um, about the YouTube videos and just everything that I have, but the more and more results I saw. And something I realized really quickly was the more work you put in, the bigger results you're going to see. Now, I know it seems like really trivial and that everybody already knows that, but there was always a part of me that thought for some reason that there was a way to skip the hard work or that there was some tips you could learn or some tricks or tools that would kind of accelerate you and you didn't need as much hard work as everybody th thought. That's just kind of the way that I thought about it previously in the last year or so. But recently I realized that there's no way around that and that at the end of the day, the person that works the hardest is going to get the results. And that's something that I definitely see with this channel, considering the amount of hours I put in every single day to doing this. So today, what I do to continue to grow my YouTube channel and just to continue to, you know, talk with you guys and work with brands and all of this stuff 
is I'm always constantly working on it. Um, whether I'm at work, which I probably shouldn't be sometimes, I'm always checking my email, I'm always checking my comments, I'm checking stats, I'm thinking about new video ideas, and immediately when I get home and I have free time, the first thing I'm doing is creating video like what I'm doing right now and making sure that I get some content out there to you guys. I've recently also started a Twitter, an Instagram, a Discord server, just more and more ways to kind of engage the community. And that's one of the most important things for me now is to make sure that I engage with you guys outside of just those YouTube videos that I post online. So anyways, that is kind of a little bit about how I've grown my channel. I know this wasn't super specific or go into extreme details, but really, if you get anything from this video, just putting in hard work really does matter and it really does get you the results that you want. And I worked for so worked so hard for so long with no results and I just kept grinding and grinding and grinding and going and going and going and now finally those results are coming in. And that's something that I think so many people don't have is the willpower to keep going when no one knows who you are, when no one watches your stuff and you just keep grinding and grinding and grinding because they don't see it immediately. And that's Something that I would say to anyone that wants to create, you know, a business or a YouTube channel or whatever it is that you have to put in so much work that's not getting rewarded before eventually, you know, you get to that successful point. And no one really looks at that when they think about, you know, successful businessmen or successful YouTubers. They don't think about the many hours they spent alone in their basement creating videos or um, not going out with their friends on the weekend to put in the hard work. They just think about what they're at now. And I think I have a really good appreciation now for the amount of work it really takes to, you know, get to a level like I'm at right now. And I'm not trying to speak like this is massive and like I'm this big shot now or whatever. It's just something that is really rewarding to me because I know how much work I put into this and to get finally to 50,000 subscribers, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time, just feels really good. And I have an appreciation now for, you know, all the hard work it takes to do something like this. So anyways, I hope this video could have maybe motivated you a little bit or just helped you understand what it is I actually do and the amount of work I put into this. As well as creating videos, I'm also writing website articles, I'm answering emails, I have all these other things going on that you guys don't get to see. And I just want you to kind of get an idea of, you know, how much work really goes in and it's not as easy as just, you know, creating a 10 minute video once a week, right? So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Definitely go enroll in my course if you guys are still around here um, and you wanna learn the fundamentals of programming with Python. It is 35% off for the next seven days and after that is not gonna be discounted anymore other than special occasions. So with that being said, I will see you guys in another video and uh, hope you enjoy.